So this is our introduction to um, the competitive advantage and the planning process. So we're still in chapter two with this particular video introduction and, and video link. So when we're looking at the competitive advantage, and this is video number five, uh, again, in chapter two, we want to talk a little bit about the, the topic itself and introduce you to it, uh, some direction from the video uh, lecture standpoint and where to find the lectures for your specific class, and then some key points and summarization. So this competitive advantage, we really want to look for leverage. And so we establish our core competencies. And I talked a little bit about this in the previous Chapter 2 video in the way of the, the Internet uh, competitiveness that we can, we can uh, muster. But we want to look at our core competencies and then determine if the core competencies are value-added and then allow us to differentiate. And so these core competencies have to almost have a natural uh, and anticipatory style to them. This then allows us to leverage where we're strongest in the way of, say, diversity or management, uh, marketing, and or business. So we, we get a different type of grasp and understanding that each one of these, again, has its own separate set of core competencies, and then we can always pull them together in the total business uh, concept uh, to make them work for us uh, from a more um, uh, inclusive perspective. But again, we're leveraging the fact that maybe in diversity we're really strong in regard to uh, being able to outreach uh, from a, with our marketing effort. Or maybe we're exceptionally sp strong in bringing in uh, uh, very good management to help lead our organization or our business. So there are different ways to look at this, and I want to make sure that you understand those because you have to differentiate and get this competitive advantage, advantage wherever you can leverage that. And, of course, that perspective is going to differ based upon which class that you're in. So from a direction standpoint in Management 362, which is the Principles in Management and Leadership class, make sure that you go to the YouTube channel, uh, which is youtube.com backslash motivate the world, and subscribe to the channel, look at the playlist, and, and, uh, and look at the Chapter 2 video. Management 372, which is the Human Relations and Organizational Behavior uh, class. Business 300, which is the Introduction to Business class. Business 330, which is the Managing Diversity in the Workplace class, and then Marketing 300, which is the Principles of Marketing class. So, so these are all separate videos, and although there may be some similarities, there's some distinct differences, and we highlight those. So pay close attention to the videos and how that highlighting uh, differentiates each one of these particular classes. So let's look at some key points that are important to take into consideration. Each class has these distinct videos for the specific class. The video structure is designed for you to be able to uh, get access to the videos at any time so they can help you with either repetition or the learning process as well as research, uh, which is an important function within all the classes. The Digimark app allows you, if you have the textbook, and you can be used on uh, uh, computers as well, to be able to link the image to video content. So whether you have a smartphone or Android or, or a uh, tablet, uh, should have some compatibility, although it's not always video proof. And then Motivate the World is divided now into the website, which houses your assignments, your forums, your quizzes, and even more to help you navigate through the class. And then the YouTube channel, which we alluded to earlier, that has the video content and the lectures for Management 372, Management 362, Marketing 300, Business 300, and Business 330. You're probably going to have questions. Be sure to touch base with me if you do, and you can either email me or you can call me on the uh, office phone. But I think that's important in the equation because um, when you pull together this much material and you have this much work that you are, are trying to get across and make sure people are learning in the education process, uh, there will be questions. So feel free to contact me.